Welcome back everybody. This video we're going to be talking about fields for object-oriented programming in C Sharp. Very similar if you're from Java or any other object-oriented language. Essentially this is a way we can store information in the class. So it's like a variable but it's at the class level rather than inside a method. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. So if you've been working in C Sharp, you probably inside of main have done int x equals five. That's a local variable. But if you go outside of main and create the variable there, that's known as a field. So a field is just a class level variable. So for example, in the context of a person, we might have a field name. Now there's also something in C Sharp known as properties, and we're going to get into that because fields are usually for behind the scenes stuff. Properties on the other hand are for public facing stuff, but you can use fields for the public facing stuff to begin with. So what that means is we could have a name, which you know, a name is public. You can reference a person by their name. So here's what it might look like when we create people. We might say person me. So this is the identifier. This is the type. We're creating a new type when we create a class. And then we say new person. And as a side note, this will need to be labeled public. We'll get into that soon when we talk about public versus private, but for now, just follow along. We end this with parentheses and a semicolon. To reference this name, all you do is say me dot name, and we can assign the value such as Caleb. So that is how we would use a public field. When you're using public fields, generally they are capitalized, so you'll often see an uppercase N. In this situation, it would be an N. <laughs> so the fields allow us to store information about the person and each person is going to be able to assign their own values. So if we created another person, that person could assign the value Kayla or Samantha or John, whatever it might be in that particular object. Now, when you create this inside of the class, it's gonna look something like this. Public string name. So basically we say it's public, we give it a type and we give it an identifier. In this case, the identifier is name. This is gonna be within a class definition. So it might look like this public person, curly braces, and so forth. And then this is the instantiation process. When we do this, we're instantiating a new person, and then when we do this, we're assigning a value to that public field. So this is the basis for storing information in our objects. The next video, we're gonna talk about properties, which is uh, also very important, so check that out and be sure to subscribe.